Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. <laughs> Customer states fuel leak. I'd say it's a fuel leak. Customer states when turning left and rolling the passenger window down, the door opens. And this customer just came in because they can't close this tray on the vehicle they just bought. Um, Let's see if it's open first. Okay, okay, so it's open. It's open. All right, so we'll go in. Because it won't close. And we lock. You can't tell me you've ever seen that before. That's the first time I've tried the key because I always have the unlock and lock. I've never seen that before. This vehicle came in as the radio wasn't working. The technician removed some trim to access the fuse box and noticed that the interior of this vehicle was saturated with curry. Customer states, AC blown warm. <sighs> well, that was easy. Customer states, it sounds like a cowbell when he drives over bumps. The customer later found out that his friends pulled a prank on him. And this customer's concern is that they have a noise after they installed a new power steering pump. The customer ended up cutting out a piece of the frame because he said there was no room for the power steering lines. Yeah, no you tight in frame. All right, today we have a 19 Chevy Silverado with 40,000 miles on it in for a uh, large EVAP leak. So let's just let's just take a look. Huh. I think they forgot to take that out. Customer states that they were just pulling out of their driveway, then their car stopped moving. Yeah, go ahead. You ready? What the f? Got it? Yeah. Customer states that they heard a pop while driving and then it started to smoke and then stopped working. The mechanic said the customer declined further diagnosis and said he was going to leave the vehicle at the dealership to get repossessed. Customer came in for a tire repair. Repair? Yeah. Customer states the vehicle they just bought has a noise in the front end. Oh yeah. That's good. Customer states his ATV shuts off every time he turns right. This customer's car surprisingly drove to the shop and their complaint was that their engine was making a funny noise. The customer told the technician he only puts oil additives in his engine and no engine oil. This vehicle just came in for an oil change, and the customer did not mention anything about these bullet holes. And this customer came in to get new brake rotors installed because his were shot. Customer states he just wants his control arm fixed. Customer states noise under hood.
I, uh, I don't know what to say. This vehicle was towed to this body shop after the driver hit a guardrail. The technician said the driver didn't sustain any serious injuries and it was towed to his body shop so the customer's insurance company could take a look at it. Customer states they replaced some brake lines, but now he can't get a firm brake pedal. Customer states their dipstick broke, and now their vehicle won't start. The technician said the dipstick managed to wrap itself around the crankshaft sprocket and dislodged the timing chain, causing the pistons to hit the valves and the timing chain guides to brake. Customer states the rear axle is broken. Let's get in the air and find out. The technician found that somebody saw it through the rear axle of this company truck. Customer states, console lid looks like my ball sack. Please replace. <sighs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I guess it do kind of look like a ball sack. <laughs> Customer states their brakes don't work after they had a family member install new brakes for them. Well, got a high end of here, and for a tire repair, saw the yellow chain sticker was 10,000 K overdue. Typical high end day owner. The technician told the customer there was no oil on the dipstick, and the customer declined repairs. A customer states car will not start. It was towed in. It's 2020 Chevy Spark. Let's go see what's wrong with it. Okay, put the key in. Hmm. Something ain't right there. Yeah, I wonder why it won't start. There's no gas in it. All right, now that there's some gas in there. Whoa! This vehicle was towed in because it won't start after the customer said he changed the oil himself. The customer ended up filling the engine with a total of 30 quarts of engine oil. Customer states his ATV won't start. This customer just installed a new head gasket on their vehicle and didn't follow the torque sequence properly. This vehicle was brought in as the customer says the speedometer doesn't work. The technician was pretty surprised on the condition of this Ferrari and even noticed some spots on the instrument cluster were spray painted over since there was multiple warning lights on the dash. Of parts here. Yeah, why would you need a fuse? Why would you need a fuse? When this customer installed some accessories on his truck, he never installed a fuse in the circuit. The customer declined repairs and said he was going to get rid of the truck. And this bedazzled Chrysler 300 came in for an airbag recall. This Bentley was towed in to get new batteries installed, and they didn't want the shop to look into why their interior is covered in mold.
and this taxi just came in for a recall. The technician noticed the multiple lights on the dash and mold inside of this car, which the customer never mentioned anything about. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. Oh, f yeah, he left me a chicken sandwich. And this person was driving on the highway when a turtle suddenly struck the windshield. The turtle was still alive and removed from the windshield, then brought to an animal shelter. No radio has a blank screen. Customer states radio screen has a white line at the bottom of the screen when the reverse camera is on. You mean your bumper? Customer states they had a tire blow out while driving on the highway. The technician checked the three other tires and they all had 90 PSI in them. Customer states that the tire light is on. Alright, let's check these tires real quick. Oh my f god. Okay, what do you need? You want to put air? Well, how much air? How much hair do you want to put in it? You feel like it's flat? You need more than air. Customer states he charged his battery all night, but his car still wouldn't start. This customer came in because he thinks his truck might need new head gaskets and wanted to pay the shop to tear apart the engine to check. The technician later found out that the customer recently tried doing the head gaskets himself, but reused the old head gaskets and put RTV silicone on them. Customer states they want a check over on their 1960 Volkswagen Beetle after they hired a Volkswagen specialist that installed new wheel bearings. This technician found that it was missing the wheel bearing races, and the wheel bearings weren't even greased, and on the other side, they installed the wheel bearings the wrong way. This vehicle was also towed in as it wouldn't start after they tried adjusting the valves on the engine. <laughs> oh. Customer came in complaining that their speakers aren't working. The head unit turns on, but there's no sound. So I checked the fuse for the amp, and it's blown. And as soon as I put a new one in, it blew again. So I come over here to check the amp. And I think I found your problem, sir. That's a, that's a rotting pumpkin that is leaking, causing your amp to short out. Why is there a pumpkin under your chair? Why? I'm a CLK. Took the floor mat out, took the other floor mat out, so I gotta get under here for a module. Huh? There's a uh, there's flat Twinkies under the floor mat. This vehicle came in for an oil change, and the technician working on it noticed this interest in LED light insulation. She said, "Whoever installed it used staples to staple it to the fuel tank, heat shields, and use zip ties to attach the wires to the lower control arm." This customer came in to get their LED strip looked at on their RV because they said the fuse keeps blowing and they added a bigger fuse, but that didn't fix the issue. Customer states, put on custom rims, here's noise, don't understand. Customer states, my truck's all over the road. Looks like got a wee bit of front offset. Huh. Let's look under it. Well, those U-bolts ain't happy. That's, uh, oh nice, double block and one pothole away from ruining your whole life. Dude. How? Why? <laughs> no. So I got this oil change, right? You wanna fill the washer fluid up. 
That is vegetable oil. There's three layers of liquid. All right. Customer states. Car clunks under acceleration. Customer wants us to uh, install a uh, four flat uh, trailer wiring. Not exactly sure he'd be able to pull anything. Customer states the used vehicle they just bought slides sideways like it's on ice anytime they accelerate. When this customer arrived, he parked in front of the shop and the mechanic thought a vehicle was on fire. The customer said that he'd stopped working on his Jeep, so this is what he's been doing for the past couple of weeks. Customer states, blue light on dash. You can't make shit up. This customer came in because they had a turkey and wanted their fog light replaced, and their vehicle checked over for any other damage. And this customer unfortunately drove into the ditch after trying to avoid hitting a squirrel. This is how she drove in. When your car starts grinding, stop and have a look at it. Customer states, light vibration in the front right. Oh. 2013 Honda Civic were 47,000 miles. The customer brought it in and just wanted a tune-up and oil change as he hasn't changed the engine oil or done any service on his vehicle since he bought it brand new. It had a little bit of a rattle. Uh, yeah. My mate reckons Jesus was the last one to service it, but I think it was a pterodactyl or something. Mm, still runs, just rattly. This customer accidentally added washer fluid to both of his headlights. The customer said he mistaken the washer fluid reservoir with the headlights as they have rubber covers on top of them. When washer fluid didn't come out, he tried adding washer fluid to the second headlight and didn't realize his mistake until he brought the vehicle to the shop. Customer states right brake light won't work. Well, of course it's not gonna work when you're this low on blinker fluid. Gosh, come on guys. What everyone doesn't know is that when you're low on blinker fluid, it also affects your brake lights. And this vehicle just came in to get new tires installed. The technician noticed multiple engine mounts were broken, which the customer did not mention anything about, and the customer declined all the repairs. So yeah guys, this customer complained that their car making noise. I drive it, it creeped me out. I'm like, what kind of noise is that? Like every time I put the magnet, there's a tank come out. They're coming out. A customer somehow drove this in and came in for an unrelated issue. This truck came in because the customer needs it to pass an emissions inspection. The technician said this is just a few of the things they found wrong with this truck. Customer states they have an oil leak underneath the driver's side of their car near their back door. This customer's Subaru was towed to the shop for a no-start concern. The technician said his shop refused to work on this car as it was a huge disaster.
Customer states their fuel mileage hasn't improved ever since they bought this fuel saver online. And I'm just a messenger, but the mechanic said this customer came in as a paint color of their vehicle doesn't change when they change it in their vehicle settings. This customer brought in their vehicle to get a check over after they said they hit a curb when they were at McDonald's. The technician was surprised to see the strut tower cracked at the spot welds and said he has never seen one this bad before. This customer brought in their vehicle to the shop to get a new exhaust installed, as he says it sounds terrible and drags on the ground. The customer also mentioned he just recently had this exhaust installed by a friend. A dog was chasing this deer and it jumped straight over a customer's truck and into the back seat of another customer's truck. It made a mess of the interior and then jumped out of the window it came through. This clip was sent in from a viewer who had this happen to the front of the automotive shop. The girl driving fell out when taking a corner because she didn't have her seatbelt on and the door latch on her vehicle was broken. I hope you enjoyed this video of the best clips of 2022. Please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.